I'm all about making it right, and after you make it right, you've got to keep it right. That's why we're going to talk about radon. It's the number one leading cause of lung cancer after smoking, and is responsible for tens of thousands of deaths a year in North America. It's colorless, it's odorless, it's toxic, and it can be in the air inside your home. Uranium is a metal found in soil and rocks. When it decays, it produces radon gas. That can come right up through your basement floor. When radon gas gets trapped in confined spaces like your home, it becomes dangerous. This is so important to me that I've made it my mission over the years to educate myself, my family, and you about the risks of high levels of radon in the home. It's important to my dad and it's important to me. And what's more important than the air we breathe? Keeping our family and yours safe and healthy is our number one priority. We can tell you all about radon and the science of the home, how it breaks down and how it gets in. But first, let's talk about what happens when radon gets into our lungs. For that, I'm calling on my leading expert, Dr. Aaron Gudarzi. Doctor. Hi Mike, it's uh, really good to be on here and let's talk about radon. So radon is a uh, unstable radioactive gas and as we inhale it, it breaks down very quickly. As it does so, it emits a kind of radiation called alpha radiation. And what the alpha radiation does is it creates damage to the DNA of all of the cells inside our body, specifically those where, uh, that are inside our lungs. And that DNA damage is really difficult for our bodies to heal correctly. That leads to mutations which drive those cells into cancer, which is why radon is extremely dangerous uh, for long-term exposure because the amount of DNA damage it does creates very quickly a cancer-causing scenario in our lungs. You know, I didn't know that it affects DNA. Mm -hmm. And that kind of makes sense. So people often ask me, how does the radiation from radon compare to other radiation that we encounter in our lives? For example, like the dental x-ray. Radon is usually um, inhaled in much greater quantities than any other kind of radiation we would have in our lives. We're going home and inhaling that every hour we're in our house as compared to, say, the once a year dental x-ray we might have. The uh, testing for radon is relatively inexpensive and very straightforward. And if your house is high, the important thing to note is there is an extremely effective solution. A couple of days work in your basement and your house will actually be made safer than anyone else's. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, guys. My pleasure. Radon can be in any home, anywhere. It can enter through cracks in the foundation walls, joints or gaps around service pipes or window casings. Just about any place where there's room for air to escape, it'll escape. Just because your neighbor might not have high levels of it, doesn't mean the same for you. The only way to know is to test for it. For more information about radon and its effects, please visit the Lung Association website and Radon Environmental for the best products to help protect your family from radon gas.